Mr. Cargas, uh, thank you very much for having us here at the Peterson Museum, uh, an exclusive uh, visit. And uh, you have this uh, beautiful exhibit about the best, uh, the, the best, the most beautiful coupes in the world, right? The world's greatest sports coupes, chosen by 12 celebrities or, uh, say, superstars, and um, it was developed by Jaguar. Yeah. And um, tell us a little bit first about the museum in, uh, itself, because uh, maybe some of our audience around the country don't know much about it. We're in Los Angeles at the corner of Fairfax and Wilshire Boulevard, uh, the third most heavily traveled intersection and intersection in Los Angeles. Um, it's considered the west side of L.A., and it's a 20-year-old museum. It was put together, and uh, actually opening day was June 11th, uh, 1994, And uh, it was opened by the Nat Natural History Museum with a, a loan or a gift, actually, from Mr. Robert Peterson, who had built a publishing empire starting with Hot Rod Magazine. He was the first guy in publishing to see the car culture growing in Southern California and started a publishing empire virtually from that. Way before Internet and all this uh, stuff. <laughs> way before, way before, yeah. And it's, uh, Mr. Peterson had the Natural History Museum operate the museum for the first seven years, and then he actually bought the museum back from them and operated it uh, himself until seven years, uh, actually about seven years ago, he passed away, and his wife uh, Margie passed away th uh, three years ago. Um, the museum is a, is a foundation where the, the Peterson... Automotive Museum Foundation and uh, operate uh, right now we operate seven days a week for the first time in our history the first time in 20 years this past Monday we opened uh, uh, every day wow and uh, it's a pretty big museum and like the building is pretty impressive when you see from outside but once we walk inside I mean it's amazing things that are in here well it's a former department store uh, oh, really? yeah it's a, it was a significant uh, department store there are actually uh, Three floors on the interior. There's a a, very, a a full city block of cars downstairs in the basement or vault that we call it. The and secret then, vault. I know there's that. The secret vault, and then upstairs on the uh, outdoor deck where we just had dinner uh, is a it was very famous. Uh, uh, say call it event center for most of the people in Los Angeles. So. Uh, how many cars are here, uh, I guess, uh, in exhibit? Because I'm sure, like, in that ball, there are, like, that many more than the ones that are in exhibit regularly. We, we have 310 cars here, and there are probably another 50 on loan for the particular exhibits that we're doing, from alternative fuel to the Mustangs to the town cars to the world's greatest sport coupes uh, to some other vehicles that are uh, downstairs on the on the very first floor. One of the things, though, that I should mention is that in October, late October, we will begin to transform the museum inside and out, a brand new exterior and a totally brand new interior, uh, with the goal of becoming the world's premier automotive museum. Well, it's uh, pretty close to that already because of the sum of cars that, that are in here. I mean, like, now we're here standing by the Rolls-Royce, the Oh, my Liberace, yeah, like pretty <laughs> authentic, uh, beautiful things in here. Well, there's some really amazing cars, but what the museum is, like, like I said, it was built 20 years ago yeah. by the Natural History Museum. As an example of modernizing the museum, right now there are seven big flat screens in the museum. When we reopen, there will be 175. Wow. And we're working with partners that are, are high, highly ad advanced and, and technologically advanced, uh, uh, call it interactive uh, companies, technology companies, to bring a number of new uh, interactive and immersive experiences to the, to the visitors. So before we go and talk more about the coops uh, and here with the event with Jaguar for the f tablet, tell me what, like, like one of the top, Two, three pieces that are here in this museum. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. <laughs> oh, really? The, the Shaw Bugatti, the uh, the Steve McQueen Jaguar XKSS, which is on anybody's list, and what we call the uh, round door Rolls, a 19, a 1935 Rolls Royce Phaeton that was rebodied several years after the owner owner had it by a Belgian company. It is phenomenal. If you go online and, and, and uh, peterson.org and look up the round door rolls, you'll know what I mean. But yeah. the, 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 the Steve McQueen Jaguar, uh, he owned it twice. He sold it the first time to Bill Hera, 
uh, because he got so many speeding tickets in it. <laughs> and then he bought it back. And Jay Leno, in fact, Jay Leno just drove it and, and put it on the uh, Jay's garage. Yeah. Uh, his blog, you can see a video of the car performing. So uh, going back to the Coupes exhibit, uh, you said Jaguar started this, uh, this Jaguar, initiative this was, with the new F-Type? This was their idea of, of this is a world-class uh, uh, sports coupe. What, what do other people think? I mean, where does this car fit in with world-famous sports coupes? So there's a Ferrari Lusso over there. We had a Ferrari GTO, um, a Porsche 356 that Patrick Dempsey, the actor racer, chose. John Lasseter, the head of, uh, of Pixar, chose the Ford GT40, that, which was the car that inspired uh, Lightning McQueen in the Cars movies. Um, Bobby Rahal picked a car. Uh, a famous collector named Bruce Meyer uh, uh, picked yeah. a, a Rolls, or a, I'm sorry, a Mercedes Gullwing. So some pretty, beautiful cars. Pretty brave from uh, Jaguar to like let other manufacturers come in and show off their own cars, right? Well, I think it was that they wanted to compare that to that this car is world class sports coupe and it fits in with all of these other these other brands and these other stylings. What do you think, as a director of the museum here? Oh, I love the car. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I'm driving an XJL, which is the stretch version of a Jaguar. I love the car. I have a Mercedes and a BMW, and we go everywhere. Nobody says anything. I pull up in the Jag, and people are going, ooh, wow, what is this? look yeah. at that. Yeah. What a transformation for a company, huh? Because, oh. like, uh, not long ago, they weren't doing that well. That's correct, And but Ian Callum is the designer, yeah. is the guy. And technology, too. I mean, the cars oh, drive fantastic. Yeah, the interior is absolutely gorgeous. Makes sense. Well, uh, thank you very much for uh, your time here. And uh, is there a, you, you mentioned the web page for the museum again, please? Peterson.org. And it's Peter, P-E-T-E-R-S-E-N, not S-O-N. Okay. Peterson.org. And now the museum is open. Thank you very much for coming on the Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.